So, finish on this, we've got honey, we've got spiciness, we've got a great long finish. Um, if you're gonna rank this, let's rank this one. One, out, one to five, five being the top. What are you gonna rank it? Four. Yeah, I'm solid four all the way. I thought you was ready. Come on, dude. Come Let's on, go. Dude. Let's go. Let's go. Whiskey Tango Charlie, we are back live in the in the barrel room. Off yeah. the front porch, back in the barrel room. Yeah, we're in North Carolina. Let me tell you what happens in North Carolina. It gets cold. It gets hot. It gets cold. Yeah, but the cool thing is we're in phase one. Reopening. So what are we going to talk right. about today? No, right here. David Nicholson Reserve, right? Um, and you will notice... Just from the level in that bottle, we have already uh, partaked of this. Nice. Right? Um, in fact, you have liked this already a bunch. So I wanted to bring it back out, and we're going to do the actual f official review on it. Right? So, what are you doing? Dude, these fucking cheap glasses you got. What are you talking oh, about? God, geez. Huh? You're these aren't these aren't you're filing huh? the freaking glass it's got some rough spots on it dude i don't want right. to cut my lip what are you talking about <laughs> okay <laughs> here you do the pour because i never pour you enough the responsible pour. You, yes i never pour you enough all right so is it, is it good no i got it all right so david nicholson reserve all right lux right. row this is a Luxro part product, Bardstown, Kentucky. Um, and we've had the other, the, the regular David Reserve. Right. And now we're, we've got into this 100 proof. 100 proof. Um, this one has the rye content. The other's a weeded. And this is a rye. So rye is what? And that's why you have really gravitated this big time. So I'm really excited about rice, obviously. So um, all the common, the vanillas. Yeah. The honeys, right? Oh, I love that. The honey jumps out of the glass on this, right? Just, I don't get, I don't get a rye. I don't get a rye scent. Do I have COVID? No. <laughs> they say you lose your scent when you, no. when you get COVID, right? No. Um... So the hundred proof jumps right up at you, right? Hundred proof. Um, um, oakiness, mm -hmm. vanilla. Um, I just keep coming back to honey, 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 and more honey. So I've enjoyed this from the first time we opened it. Right. Right. So we bought the first one, the white bottle, which mm -hmm. was a weeded. And uh, so we had a, uh, a good friend of ours turn us on to it yep. and um, thought that it was uh, one of the best picks in the store. And I, I passed this rye by. And I, and I did it for a reason because he compared it, the, the white bottle, uh, to some other weeded bourbons that are out there mm -hmm. that are more desired. Right. Right? We won't talk about those. We're here talking about Dave Nichols. Right. So um, I didn't enjoy that as much as I do this. Right? So this is almost an after-dinner dessert, spicy, chocolatey, explodes-in-your-mouth kind of thing. What's really good, well, you, you said it right, explodes is correct. What I really like about this is after you have the sip, I mean, you literally can just put your glass down and just sit there and enjoy it. It just stays there, right? And it keeps giving you more and more. The whole. So I'm mid tongue. Yep. Right. Yep. Um. The spice just sits there, um, nice, not harsh. And if you'll remember, when we tasted this, <laughs> when we opened this bottle, yes. right. Prior to going on camera. Right. No, right? we... we so it was several days ago. We opened the bottle up and you said, hey, let's give this thing a try. Yeah. Right? Um, we took a second pour. 
Right? Because it was that good. <laughs> yeah. Right? Second. And I wasn't even drinking out of the second pour because the finish stayed with you for so long. Right. Um, full body, and it just, it is just a super, super, you can't even get, I don't know how to, long, long as, a long finish would even be cutting it short. Because it's just, ah. Yeah. So. So price point. Um... You know, I don't keep the receipts, but I, I want to say that was a $40 range, I think. So we paid for this. Nobody sent it to us? No. We... How, do, how do we get you people to send us bottles of liquor? <laughs> <laughs> send us a bottle. We will review it. We will yeah. talk about it. <laughs> Love to. Yes, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so, finish on this. We've got honey. We've got spiciness. We've got a great long finish. Um, if you're going to rank this, let's rank this one. One, out, one to five. Five being the top. What are you going to rank it? Four. Yeah, I'm solid four all the way on this. So good job on um, David Nicholson, um, the reserve. Um, definitely a sipper. Uh, sit down. Um, and I would pair this with, um, I would pair this up, uh, and I know you're not the cigar man, but I am, but I would pair this up with one of my um, Leon specials. The Watchman cigars. Yep. One of his um, Maduros, maybe. This would be awesome. So, hey. Yeah. Whiskey Tango Charlie, thanks for joining us. Um, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And uh, we look forward to uh, getting some comments from you. Thank you so much.